doctor. I've lived for over 2,000 years, and not all of them were good. No, no, that's not who I really am. Um, my name's Ryan Fan, and I'm here to brighten your day the nerdy way. Welcome to the 100th video of Phoenix Blaze Productions. Yes, indeed, it's been two and a half years. So, on that note, let's talk about a show about time travel. In 2166, an immortal tyrant named Vandal Savage conquered the world and murdered my wife. Tomorrow. That will be another time. Uh, no. I am talking about the show that the intro was based around Doctor Who. That one. Bingle bongle, dingle dangle, yickety doo, yickety da, ping pong, lippy tappy too ta. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a big Doctor Who fan. And this past weekend, I was asked what I thought of Peter Capaldi's Doctor, since his run of the Doctor is almost coming to an end. Well, I started to think about it, and I remembered that he was also in an episode in Season 4 called The Fires of Pompeii. Now, I have reason to believe something that set me up for today's theory. My theory is, could Peter Capaldi's character in The Fires of Pompeii actually be the Doctor in hiding? In Season 8, in an episode entitled The Girl Who Died, Peter Capaldi's doctor looks inside a bucket of water and remembers his face and remembers why he chose it. But I think it goes a bit further than that. I believe that the reflection that he saw is his future self. In season three, there was an episode called Human Nature where the doctor had to turn himself into a human named John Smith in order to go into hiding and a, an alien family that was after Time Lord Secrets or whatever. That might have happened the same way to Peter Capaldi's doctor, but he had to go back into Pompeii and hide there and keep it secret there. Now, who knows how long Peter Capaldi's doctor has been living uh, in Pompeii as he was a human, but it seems plausible, right? It could be Peter Capaldi's doctor's future self because he was already cast before playing the Doctor and it just seems so fitting that it could happen. I mean, talk about continuity errors, but it just fits. It's like a piece of a puzzle. Or as David Tennant would say. More like a big ball of wibbly wobbly Tiny wimey stuff. So, if you agree with me, great. If you disagree with me, also great. Everyone's entitled to their opinions on my channel. Comment down below if you agree or disagree, and comment your thoughts. Thanks. Alright, Jarvis. Activate protocols Patreon, GoFundMe, and subscription. Opening protocols Patreon, GoFundMe, and subscription. Help keep this channel alive. Click here or here to donate to Patreon or GoFundMe and keep this channel alive. Let's make it rain green. And now, click on the subscribe button right here and keep up to date with everything else that's going on in Phoenix Place Productions. I'll see you later. Alright, Jarvis, and all the protocols. Closing requested protocols.